In this video, we're going to take a look at the else if statement. And basically, you want to use that if you want more than just a simple true and false outcome. What if you need multiple outcomes? Maybe 20 outcomes, maybe 30 outcomes. And again, that's where the else if statement comes into play. Now, the else if always goes between the else and the if. It can't go after the else and it can't come before the if. You always have to put it in between the if and the else, no matter how many you add. So let's go ahead and copy and paste our if statement again here, because the else if is very similar to the if. And what we want to do is add else before the if, and that gives us our else if. And what we're going to do is we'll add this equal sign back here. And now this should be true. Now you'll notice right away that the else if, like the if, has a conditional. So again, it does everything the if does. It just allows us to add multiple outcomes instead of just a simple true and false. Now, the reason we don't add a conditional to our else is because the else always comes last no matter what. It is always the last stop, the last hurrah. That's why you don't add a condition here. There's nothing really to test. It is the absolute false condition. So now if we look at this code, our if statement should turn out to be false and it will come down and hit this else if and this should be true and our block of code will be executed. And let's put something in here a little bit different. Let's just say the else if was executed. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's refresh our page and it worked, which is what we expected. So again, the two key points here are you can add now as many different outcomes as you want with the else if, but again, it can never come after the else and it can never come before the if. Those are the two main rules that you have to remember. And also remember that it's exactly similar to the if. We have a condition here, we are testing that condition, and it can be true or false, like all conditionals are. Now, let's go ahead and put in seven here, and we'll just see if this is working correctly, and it should skip down to our else. Let's go ahead and save this, let's refresh our page, and it did. So that is how the else if works. 